Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on how to make square knots for macrame and friendship bracelets. So in order to make our square knots you can see that I've tied two threads up at the top giving me four tails in total and we're going to be making our knots around these two central threads with ones on either side being used to actually tie the knots. What you need to do then is you need to pick a side, doesn't really matter which. I'm going to start off with the left hand side but what you need to do is you need to take your left hand thread lay the tail across all the rest of the other threads just as you can see then take your right hand thread bring that over the top of the left hand thread just like that and then we need to take this tail and bring it underneath all the rest of the others and bring it out of this gap just here so it needs to go underneath everybody else and then come out from that gap and then we can pull the two tails tight and we'll form our first knot from this point then we need to repeat exactly the same process but we'll do so starting from the other side. So this time we'll take our right hand thread, we'll lay that one across absolutely everybody else, take our left hand thread, bring that over the top of the right and then poke the tail underneath all of the threads and out through the gap. And then once again pull that one tight and bring the knot up to the first one. And you'll know you've done that right if you've got this little band forming just on one side. And then we just repeat the process again, going back to the original side where we started to begin with. So I'm going to take my left hand thread, lay that across all the top of the other threads, take my right hand thread over the top of the left, and then poke that tail underneath everybody and out through the gap. And once again, tighten it up. And you can see this is an easy little process that we can just keep on going through, gradually building up all of the square knots and you should find that it's forming a band that lays nice and flat rather than a spiral for example. But what if you walked away from your work and you've come back to it and you're saying oh well I don't really know which one of these two sides I'm supposed to be starting from. Well, what you can do is you can take a look at the bands that you've got running down on either side, showing in yellow in this case, although yours might of course all be the same colour. If for example we can see that on this side here on the right we've got a full band of yellow that's going right the way out and then tucking back underneath, with a thread coming out underneath of it. And this is the thread that we're going to be able to use to start the next run. So if I take this right hand thread, I can lay it across everybody else, then take the left hand thread, bring that one over the top, run it underneath and out through the gap. And then tighten it up and you'll find that it immediately forms another one of these bands on the left hand side. And there you go though, that's how we create square knots for macrame.